Yeah. And that means that winner's finals is going to be another Min Min Fox matchup. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Len going up against Lazog in winner's finals now based on that win. BMS um, winner's finals, but it's yeah. not BMS. <laughs> right, right, right. So it's definitely going to be um, an interesting one. Min Min has some great tools against uh, against Fox, but we'll see what happens. Uh, it is going to, yep, is, okay, we're going to the loser side. Okay, so we're going to go to Zexy Gummy right now, the one that we were hyping up just a little bit. But Gummy, as I mentioned, he usually plays Krom, but he looks like he's playing Joker right now. He's used both interchangeably so far. Okay. But the but at least um, for stream matches and whatnot, Krom's done a little bit more gestures for him. Yeah. Especially in that, that um, close set with... Um, and being losers' quarters, uh, we are still in best of five territory, by the way. So yeah. uh, that means that Gummy has plenty of room to decide if he wants to switch back yeah. to the Krom or stick with the Joker. Let's see. Early game, he is playing aggressively, as you would expect, but uh, so is Zexy. And I think that because Zexy does play aggressively, I'm wondering if in the same way that he lost to Lazog for weird matchup reasons, it might happen the same way here. Yeah. And it was Krabby who put Gummy in losers, and they could potentially face off again, but um, definitely a uh, sword fighting matchup, definitely just being able to be it's a mobility thing, it's a framing thing, so we'll see if he can adjust. Uh, we have our Sen out very early. Ooh, going really deep for it and challenging the Arsen up beat. Uh, I do appreciate that. you got to go for it. And Zexy not letting up on the gas either. He is going to take that first stock. Uh, and now some quick extra credit uh, extra credit we had. Yeah, finding exactly what he need and hitting it where exactly he needs to be. Um, not giving in to um, Rebel's Guard. Um, so far just piling on damage. Yeah. Uh, oh, got the last bit of that smart... Uh, Tetracon there from Gummy. Very, very nice. I mean, just kind of waited for the last hit and then knew that that was the one that he needs to counter because any of those uh, multi-hits uh, were not going to get him the knockback that he was looking for on the counter. So he's able to get off the finishing hit. Zexy now uh, a full stock lead, though. This is still pretty good. It's got to feel really good. I mean, he's he's getting what he wants really fast and um, Gummy definitely not too far behind, but definitely needs to... It's really hard for like you can see it's really hard for him to like get much of anything like combo wise going like yeah. he's getting little things here and there he got that stock we saw earlier like any of those hits could have probably connected but it, the saving for the last one was definitely big. This is a big combo. Read the air dodge. That's gonna be it. Oh no, it's not. Okay, good stuff. I was gonna say that was a little early, but yeah, ah. that was definitely gonna be not it. Still, uh, Makarkarn didn't matter that though. That was not gonna be it, right? Uh, nope. Oh not. no. Yeah, stop, he's though. fine though. And Arsene leaves the field. Uh, now you got to make sure you can do it all on your own. <sighs> Last stock situation here. I don't think anyone ex really expected this. We'll see if Gummy can do anything with it. The drag Sexy down really doesn't want to let this up. I like the drag downs right now. Ah. But the up smash read on the air dodge, that's going to be a little bit of an overextension from Gummy. I do like what Gummy's going for. I think he's showing his hand a little bit too early. He's going for some of these Rebels guards. He's going for some of these trumps, but it's like... He's deciding a little bit too late that he wants to do these things, uh, and Zexy is able to just smother him with the options, right? He's like, even if I cover at least two of the potential options, I can usually find myself in a good place. And so far, it has been true for Zexy. Those two stocks were on, like, the last hits of, like, really powerful multi-hit um, options with, like, up B and then up smash. Uh, right. So we'll run it back and see if Zexy can do more of the same. What's scary is anytime you get this Rebels Guard, um, much like you can charge a smash attack, you can charge the hero spin on ground, right? So you're able to get a lot of damage if you're able to get one of those big reads. We saw a little bit of that in the first game. I want to see if the conditioning will take hold here in game two. Yeah, it feels like every other time, like he, he's definitely been able to get the move out, but only every other time, like he's been able right. to actually get damage off of it. But the threat of it is still there nonetheless. Exactly, but these grabs. Still a bit of a vulnerable spot that Gummy is not able to take advantage of just yet. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> footstool through the platform. Okay. Probably not intentional, but we'll take it anyway. It happens. Yep. Ah, uh, oh, couldn't grab in time. Oh no! Anytime you air dodge into the arrow, you know the defense looking for a follow-up, but I think the tether grabs, he's making himself elusive offstage, which is absolutely crucial against Joker. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And getting him there. 
not over yet. Zexy still at high percent. Gummy just needs one big read, but any of these grabs are punishable. He's just looking for that the reverse up B actually connects. I don't know how, but all right. Yep. I feel like he definitely did something that definitely could have worked, but he couldn't find. Okay, there we, there go. we go. That's a good call out. That dude. that's uh, that's a typical Joker edge guard that you definitely want to be able to do in disadvantage. Being able to snap the ledge and be able to catch him with the back air he comes out so quick. Okay. Yep. Bring starting to use a lot more of the grappling hook to its advantage. Definitely what you want to do. Gummy's starting to kind of come alive here. Yeah, those Joker BNBs are going to be some good, reliable damage. And obviously, uh, Zexy not really able to get out of that one just yet. So, yep, good lead into the grounded upbeat. This is a lot of damage in a short period of time. The air dodge almost getting read there, but Arsene, what can you do with this massive kill? Oh! So you've got it's the spike, baby. My turn for a lead. Really good stuff there from Gummy. Being able to momentarily hold a lead and then be able to find something off stage. Ah, uh, uh, not before getting up smashed. For sure. Still like, in one's game. I like that he went for the Aegon as like sort of a last hurrah for Arsene because you want to get that passive damage started. True. Um, any amount of extra credit is good, but that is a really great way to tack on to fight a lot of percent while you're just off stage doing whatever you want to do. Yeah, he's only been able to win one all game, let alone all set. Pretty much, yeah. And it was yeah. an Eha at like the beginning. Yep, yep. Eha, unfortunately, the lackluster of the two options. But this is, again, falling into these grounded up, the Zexy pain dividends with that one. Got Ooh, here with the... Ooh, nice back air. There we go. <laughs> the Arsene back air, and not much time left on that bar either. Gummy pulled the trigger at the apt moment. He started to find his rhythm, and it was able to pay off. He's in the set now. Good. Uh, we definitely, as we mentioned, are in best of five, but we're going to go to game three even uh, from between, between these two. Hmm. We'll see if you can pull ahead here. Joker. Still PS2. I appreciate, I appreciate the Joker pick. It is working. I don't know if Krom would be doing the same work, but it doesn't matter. Right now, the Joker is what we are seeing, and it can continue uh, to press the advantage against Zexy. Yeah, I feel like Krom would definitely do work just in a different way, like right. sword player on sword player, but I feel like the Joker pick definitely. There we go. Uh, Finally, Rebels guard in the early stage I mean, being got able to do some. Yeah. That's the problem. Unfortunately, he didn't get you what you were hoping, and now we get our ascent. Uh, but it, that, that damage, now that he's out, only takes away from his ability to be on Yeah. Oh, no. Too late. Easy. Okay. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it, it, he had a good start, but ultimately Zexy just taking advantage of the situation and finding what he needed to clip off the top. Great. I don't know. That, that had to have been SDI. He, it, it was. He SDI like a madman on that one. Yeah. Try to get more guard there, unfortunately, going to get grabbed. Okay, yep. The punish on the Aegon. A little bit laggy. People don't think about it, but had the right idea. Zexy followed the roll in, but got caught anyway. Yep. I'm trying to challenge him at ledge. Uh, all right. Oh, got another hero spin. Every time. And and there it is. That's what I'm talking oh! about. Charging that option. Waiting for the Rebels Guard to finish. And that's the punish. An early kill. What? And, and now he's just pouring it on again. Zexy coming out now. 60% instant arson. And he's going to need every inch of that bar because Zexy is still going in. Yep, down to half now. This man has a lead and says, I am not camping under any circumstances. No, I... Like, his his aggressive and fast gameplay to a degree is paying off for him, but it he really needs to be able to connect. Okay, go for the, oh, but then okay. the ledge. Okay, I like the idea of reversing it, but Gummy reading that disengaging at ledge. This Ooh. could be really good. We've seen these... Deep edge guards pay off for Gummy. And that's how last game ended. And this is how it was last game, too. It was a kill percent and able to find Yay! something. But up smash. Too many up smash reads on those air dodges. I think Gummy just needs to keep his hand off the shield button when he's at disadvantage for just a little longer. He's just still in range of those deadly moves, and it paid off for Zexy here. One more game is going to continue his run. For sure. I did not see the stage counter pick. Hopefully, Gummy has what it takes to bring this to a game 
five. Uh, I would love to see. Before. No oh, change of scenery. PS2. Okay, I'm. I'm interested to see how this goes. Sexy has been benefiting from, I would say, wearing Gummy down with some of these options, like just hitting combo after combo after combo and keeping them mixed up as well. Gummy does not know what to expect. No, it, I feel like the story here has been like being able to not just pour on damage, but follow it up and just continuing to put it on. And yeah. that's why both players have taken games in their different respects. Like. Zexy was able to start off fast, Gummy being able to counter it, and then Zexy being able to counteract what he was doing with. There we'll we see go. if Zexy, uh, Gummy can do more of the same here. Very nice. A little bit of a mix up with the Nair, but a quicker option, I think. And the Bear didn't even need that. Going no. for an easier kill. He's starting to mix it up all over, and it's paying off. We'll see if he can do more and potentially force game five. Really good roll and patience there, waiting out the up smash that time. What was that shield display? It's crazy. He literally could have got poked at any moment, but he ends up getting a little bit of damage. It's just not enough for him no. to really set himself apart in this game right now. Zexy has kept it so even, but these drag downs, you can see, Gummy, the gears are turning. He, he knows what he wants to do. He just can't get the opportunity and can't get him on it. Zexy's knows the position he's in. Oh. He doesn't want it to happen to him. Wh oh, no. Unfortunate roll. In his head all the way. Does not let him go. Gummy had five opportunities to get out of that, but none of them were taken, and Zexy able to steal that one real quick. He read what he was going to do every, every bit time. of that. It just it paid off. Every time. Like, he just had an amazing job of option coverage. Knew that Gummy was going to have to fall with something, right? Whether it's an empty top or falling with one of your better uh, Joker aerials, uh, that's going to get caught. Huh? Oh. Oh man, that was so uh, cool. <laughs> that was so cool. I know. I really want this to go to a game five, but hey, we might see it. We might not. Losing nope. stage control is Gummy going to get caught by that down air. Losing Arsene too. He gets an Eha though. We'll see if he can. He, yeah. Okay, there. Got say, the uh, up tilt. With the Eha, that definitely got him a little bit closer to the finish line on that stop. This is going to be very important. Double back air. Can he? What? Oh, no! No way! You've got to be kidding me. That's the worst way for it to end, but he went so deep for it. If he had literally just been able to tether, he could have reset, maybe got his jump back, or gotten something else, but the he, the distance was too much. Insurmountable. Uh, he had the right idea, and it, it paid off in other games. He just went too far. Uh, the balls on this man. I love it, though. That was that was some that was some hype stuff. Yeah, you if gotta that hand. Worked, you I gotta hand. <laughs> gotta hand it to Gummy, but unfortunately, in the end, it's gonna be an "I Love My Wife" dub oh for Zexy. Yeah, Moving yeah. on to the semifinal, guaranteed fourth, but Gummy at a respectable fifth place. Right. That's so, true. Uh, we've got. Yeah, like uh, I said, don't sleep on Gummy. No. Gummy, uh, after moving to our region from, I believe, North Carolina. Um, Gummy has been on the grind, been going to quite a few uh, Nova locals, um, and I'm definitely interested to see like m what comes from this from this grinding session that he's had. Um, he's been growing a little bit, uh, but this is the first time I've seen the Joker, so this is an interesting uh, circumstance where it's like I've seen his crom, I've seen his crom getting better, but the Joker, man, that was strong right out the gate. It was, and that was a fun set to watch, like being able to trade games and almost forcing game five there. Like he I definitely know. knew what he was doing, but Zexy just ran with him. I know. Yeah, great stuff to uh, to both those players, obviously, but sexy more so for taking that dub. Uh, he's gonna. Be